Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding product sales analysis part two and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the last couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called sales with five different columns, sale ID, product ID, year, quantity, and price, and the data type being integer for all these columns. The combination of sale ID and year is the primary key of this table, and product ID is a foreign key to the product table. So basically there is going to be a second table as well. Each row of this table shows a sale on the product ID in a certain year. The price is per unit. Okay. The second table is has two columns, product ID and product name, and these are the data types, product ID being the primary key of this table, which is also a foreign key of the sales table, right? Each row of this table indicates the product name of each product. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the total quantity sold for every product ID. Okay order of the result doesn't matter. So this is the sales table and the products table. So different sales IDs, different products, years, quantity sold and the price per unit, right? Now we are asked, so basically for each of the product ID, what is the total quantity sold, right? So for example, product ID 100, so 10 plus 12, 22 for 215, right? So then that is going to be the output, right? So if you see, uh, we don't need product table for this part of the question, right? Since this is a part two of product sales analysis. So in the first part, we might require the product table, but in this part, we don't need it, right? So all we need to do is we can, you know, from this table called sales, if we group by and then sum the quantities and return it as total quantity, then our work will be done, right? So let's build this query. So from this table, called sales if we group by the product id and then return the product id and we know we need to know for each product id what is the total quantity sold right so we sum the quantity column right and we can alias it as total quantity because that is the name of the column that we need in our output. So as total quantity, right? Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases. It is a success accepted as well. So this is how we solve this question. Very simple question. Uh, we didn't need the use of the second table. That is the that that is the product table. Uh, and yeah, this is very simple. Uh, let me know, guys, if this video was useful. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.